MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Adrian, I'd like to explore for my own benefit and for our viewers what Open Minds Piper Mill software delivers for machine tool companies and machinists. Okay, well in the case of this uh, Variaxis I700T, it's a very dynamic machine and we're able to use Hypermill to really get the best out of the machine tool. So Hypermill is able to, in, in one environment, to program the turning, the uh, milling, a milling can be 2D, 5 axis, or in the case of some of the, um, the cycles or some of the options in this, on this part, we're able to use the simultaneous options but auto index them. So but this is all offline, isn't it? So, so a machinist or an engineer would do it in the comfort of his own office and then it would be fed to the machine? Absolutely. I mean, you see, these are very uh, nice machines and really we want to keep the spindle running as long as possible. So offline programming uh, enables you to really focus and get the, uh, the maximum benefits of uh, cycle time offline and then bring it to the machine tool when your, your, your battery or parts are finished, ready for the next part. So keeping that spindle running 24-7. So to me, if, if I had no knowledge of your software, the first thing that would come into my head before I bought it is I'd be apprehensive about the learning curve. Is it difficult to use? Oh, uh, this, this is, I think, one of the misconceptions about using Hypermill. Um, certainly, I don't think it's any more complex than using a 5-axis solution. In the case of, of this, uh, in these options here, if you could have programmed it in 3-axis, it's only one button to turn it into a 5-axis simultaneous cycle. So we always say, if it's difficult to use, then no one will use it. Very true, very true. So let's have a look at this part here. This is actually machining a wheel here, correct? That's right, yeah. So you're doing the turning and the milling? Absolutely. Turning, turning and milling is possible, is possible in Hypermill. Um, so we have in one environment from 2D right up to simultaneous and turning. So how would this have been done without your software before? Interesting. Um, it should have been quite a, quite a tricky uh, job doing this uh, offline. Possibly you might have had uh, cam systems with uh, using multiple different cam systems, one for 2D, one for turning, one for 5-axis, and you would try and string them all together and, and create an NC file. So, so if you had to quantify then how much time it would save you by using Hypermill compared to that method, what would there be an estimate? Difficult to say, but it's, it's, I think the other, the other issue is really getting the benefits of, of the turning. You, know, you, you can uh, collision check the turning against the milling and the milling against the turning. If you keep it all in one environment, then you're, uh, you can come to the machine much more reliably. You press the button, stand back, and the part is produced without any rework or going back and forth between different systems. Let's have a look at the finished part. Okay. So this is actually the part that's being machined, obviously an alloy wheel. Talk me through how you go about programming it. Oh, certainly. It's, um, in this case, what you're looking for is, is features. And in, in the case of this part, there is actually four individual pockets that are arrayed around the part. So uh, if you can focus on a particular pocket, you're able to get the benefits of our array feature and actually get the other pockets for free. OK, so, and then, I mean, how long would it take you to program something like this from start to finish, estimate? Certainly less than a day, this is possible. In the end, it all depends on the, the actual performance and cycle time you want from the part. Is it, uh, is it just a one-off um, prototype part, or is it a uh, production part in which every second counts? This also does affect the, um, the programming time it, it takes to the machine part. So potentially, though, something like this could be programmed from scratch in, in a day or less than a day? Oh, absolutely, yeah, certainly. Wow, that's impressive. When you look at the pockets, the turning, all the features on it, that's, obvious, that's an eye-opener to me. Uh, certainly. I mean, one of, the, one of the things is, you know, in these particular pockets, is it, these are quite deep with small radiuses in them. So trying to machine them, you could, of course, machine them in simultaneous. But what we're trying to do is to maybe use simultaneous for the positioning of the, of the part and then locking the machine in a, in a three, 3 plus 2 orientation and so it's stable, and then getting the, um, the best performance out of the machine in that, in that position. Then we got, we got to go to another orientation, again, simultaneously move to that position and run again. So what we're looking at here, though, is a fairly complex component. It doesn't matter whether parts are, are, are simpler than this. No, because um, even with simple parts, you're able to use the, or leverage the, the technology to produce those simple parts faster. So it can be used for complex, simple, across the board? Absolutely. I mean, there's no real limit on, uh, on the, the complexity of the parts we can um, manufacture with Hypermill. It's just really, um, you can, we can, say, leverage that technology 
in uh, these complex parts or simple, simple components. Brilliant. Adrian, thanks for your time. No problem. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.